Hey class, this is Mr. Corsi, and we are here to show you how to edit a multi-camera video. So in my previous lesson, we were in the studio and we learned how to shoot the multi-camera video. So now we're going to edit it in the classroom. So here's what you do to get started. I would put all the videos in the video folder and I would name them camera one, camera two, camera three, just to make things easier and simpler. So to get started you're going to open up a Premiere Pro and the first thing you, you do is import your video. So right click or control click choose import and we can choose the videos or import the whole video folder. So we got the three video clips right here. All you need to do to get started is select all three of these and then control click or right click and choose create multi-camera sequence. Now to get started I think we should call this activity to multi-cam and under synchronization point we're going to choose audio. That's going to help the software to determine where to match up the three video clips. And then make sure sequence preset is set to automatic and then under audio sequence settings make sure you choose all cameras because if you just choose camera one, camera one is going to be actually the first one you selected when you chose create multi-camera sequence. So choose all cameras and then we can mute the ones we don't need. Leave everything else the same, click OK. Now what it did was it made this little multi-cam sequence and then moved your three clips to the process clips folder. Now the first thing I want you to do is create a new sequence. So AVC HD 1080p, 1080p 30, sequence activity 2. So click OK. And then we're going to drag the multicam right in there. And we're going to keep existing settings. So as you can see right here, it's only using one camera view. And we need to be able to see all three cameras at the same time. In order to enable that, in the program monitor, click the little plus and add the toggle multi camera view to your icon list by just clicking, dragging that down and click OK. So you drag it in there and it's now there. So watch what happens when I toggle it on. So now you can see what the final output is, but you can choose the different clips. As you can see, it has synchronized all the cameras. Now this camera here starts before the others, but you see all three of the clips. DeAndre, you're going to look at this camera. The main audio is on this camera too, so I want to mute the rest. DeAndre Lane, and I'm here with Ashley Ramos to talk about the pros and So I'm going to mute those two. About the pros and cons of being a high school student. So I don't even need all this over here. So I'm going to click and drag that right there. Press delete, move it over. <laughs> to get started, you see this is selected. All you got to do is select this camera here. Let's start with this camera and I'm going to hit the space bar to play. My name is Kendra Lane and I'm here with Ashley Ramos to talk about the pros and cons of being a high school student. And then switch to this camera. You'll self-direct it. Hi Ashley, can you please describe what you like best about being a high school student? So here, we're going to switch here. We can either click on it or press 1. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So you can press the number 1, number 2, number 3. But here's us switching the camera. What I like best about being a high school student is the freedom we get compared to when you were younger. You get more liberty. I think. That's cool. Is there anything you can tell me about what's hard about being in high school? Um, I think one of the things that's hard about being in high school is how you have to prioritize certain things over others. Like, mm, like which work do you want to work on that day? Or like you'll get behind on other work, so you kind of have to balance it out. Right, right, right. It looks like you understand the full experience of being a high school student. I appreciate you for your time and letting us come through and record this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching.
time. We'll see you next time. I hit the space bar or click stop, and then every time I switch the cameras, there's little cuts right there. Now, there's a lot of video footage. <laughs> Let's say I need to re edit. Right, right, right. So, when he says right, <laughs> if I wanted to cut it sooner, I can click on here, hit play. Balance it out. Right, right, right. And then stop. In other works, so you kind of have to balance it out. Right, right, right. So there it is. It, it fixed it. Let's say I want to move something over real quick. I can do a rolling edit. A school student. What I like best about being a high school student is the freedom we get compared to when you were younger. You get more liberty. So I, I want to do a rolling edit. I can move move it over. I think. And I can hit my plus and minus to get a little closer look. That's cool. All right, so you can use the rolling edit to move stuff over. I'm going to press V to get back to the move tool. You can also do this and move that over here uh, with the uh, move tool. So there's several ways you can edit. There's an awful lot of this video that I need to cut out all together. So I want to show you, you're going to have to make sure you cut the audio along the lines uh, evenly. So. Let's sit out. Right, right, right. Okay. And you, you know, try, try to be engaged. So I'm going to cut the part with me talking. And I'm going to just press C to get the, the razor tool. And I'm going to cut, cut. Cut all across there. Okay. And you, you know, try, try to be in that. And then you can either get the uh, move tool and click and drag all that over. Or you can go cut and cut all the way down here and get the, the move tool again by pressing V. And select that, delete. And then you click on the little space right there and press delete. And it moves it right over. So everything's still synchronized. Like you understand the full experience of being a high school student. I appreciate it. All right. So we messed up. So we'll probably cut that out. So if you're going to have to cut whole sections out, you're going to have to cut the audio too. So you see how it's only cut in the video. So you'll have to get the razor tool which shortcut is C and cut the audio and then make make sure you delete the whole space and everything moves right back together and then once you got everything together uh, you might play it all the way through make sure it looks good and then you're ready to export it and that's how easy it is to edit with uh, multi-camera editing in Adobe Premiere Pro see you next time Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.